Hello, and uh, welcome back to some classic, uh, you know, biscuit stuff, classic Missy Boy stuff. We're back to the, it's no more horror month. So we're back to some Death Door. Or oh, Death's Door, because it's an S biscuit. I forget to say the S. Yeah, but we're back to Death's Door. Uh, we have the dragon back. Um, so Ghost Boy is gone. Back into his grave to slumber till next Halloween. Yes, yeah, so we've got the dragon back. Um, we're back with Death's Door. You may be wondering, like, what? Well, hey, what's going on with um, Evil Within, the DLC? You only just started that. Yeah, well, we're going to have to save that till either I finish Death's Door or next Halloween. Who knows? Um, but yeah, let's start with Death's Door. 55.2%. That ain't bad. How many times do I have to click start for you to start? Because I wouldn't have some drink in the loading screen. <laughs> and the game was like, oh, you have to press start like 900 times for it to start. You're an ass. Uh, yeah. I did stream and then unstream, and now I'm streaming again. And that's mainly because I had to fix some channel stuff. Uh, as like cookie, I had to get the OG Cookie Fulu, and I had to set the dragon back up because I forgot. Oh, I got no clue what I was fucking doing. None at all. Yeah, I think I'll figure it out. Uh, why is it? I thought I had three of these on. Ah, oh, did it undo my fucking progress? Did it undo my progress? I swear I had three of those flames on. I swear we only had one left to do. Oh no, we have one left of these to do. I don't know what I'm meant to be. Uh, I know I get the chain from here somewhere because I've seen Kitten have it and some other peeps have it. Um... Oh, I have to get this guy. That's what I did this, I must have died. didn't reach our Halloween goal, which did upset me a little bit. Um, we got close, but it would have been nice to reach our Halloween goal. Oh, shit. Yeah, it would have been nice to reach our Halloween goal. Um... Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, we know we died. <laughs> I'm rusty. <laughs> I am rusty. I've not played this in a while. I'm very rusty. Um... Mm. One more drink. Oh uh, yeah, I thought Dog was about to bark. I heard a... And now they're... Proper barking. Stop now. Although I have the mics out so you guys can't hear it. I don't know. I always still need the mic just in case. These roly boys are my favourite. The roly boys. With their little masks on the back of their head. Uh, on the back of their head. God, I really don't like this big guy with a mic. I'm getting killed by stupid things. You like that? Oh, it's a big guy with a knife and a fucking gas gun. Great. Right. Right. 
try and take out the gas guard first. I do not want him to get any gas out. Still a bit under the weather. Returning to work in a fucking dust and all this shit. Doesn't turn. Work's been alright. Like the return. Oh, fuck's sake, I'm dead again. Although I did get in trouble yesterday, but I don't give a shit. Really don't give two shits. Um, I pissed off a manager. Because basically, they constantly tell us, like, oh, if you need help or you need two people to do something rather than one person ask someone and call someone over and I did and then the manager came over and tried to take the guy I called over away so then I was like okay well no I'm not going to do this by myself if you take me away my co-worker away um and then my manager like called me into the office like you, you can't speak to me like that I'm like you, you just you pissed me off Monday always pisses me off they got five managers in Monday and two shop floor people and they've got the two forklifters even in the morning. But they have to do like so much shit. They can't do shop floor stuff. They've got so much shit they gotta do. They can't do shop floor stuff. But they've got five fucking managers and two shop floor. It's ridiculous. Um, and then also on yesterday, one of the managers genuinely she was doing a trolley of items and I went, Oh, what are you doing that for? Um she was, well, there's nothing else to do. And I went, Well they've we've got the delivery in it, we've got the IW, we've got genuinely like seven pallets of things out there which I know I'm now in but I need to help uh, forklifters do stuff because they've had no one helping them and a lot of the forklifters jobs take two people and there are two forklifters but they you know they both needed two people you know to do their job like one needed to unload lorries and one needed help one needed like a second person um, so I was helping them get that done and this manager Jenny said to me oh but that, that's not for me to do that's for you guys to do it's not my job so I was like oh they put me in a bad mood and then another manager said shit that put me in a bad mood and he was just like fuck you guys posted in the fortress I've learned a great deal about the old lords of doors still don't much care for them I didn't really tell me much mate but thanks now we get the chain. Ch -ch -ch changes. Yeah. I'm very much close to like, I'm at the point with that job where it's like, I'm gonna get another job. I'm not, I'm not staying much longer. Than Which is bad for them, because I'm one of the few workers who puts in like the extra work for shit. And they know that. As much as we joke about it and make laugh, they know that, right? Because they'll put me on tasks that they don't trust other people to do, and I'll sort shit out and clear shit out that other people want to do. Um, be careful, little one. Is that all you have to say? Can you lot say more stuff? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm just going to stay there until Christmas and then find a new job. Um... Because changing jobs over Christmas is like, yeah, I need the I need the dedicated money before I do anything. Pardon me, I said I've one of these. The mimic chests. It was funny the first time, and it's like this is the fourth time this is happening. I know it's gonna happen. They could have mixed it up a little bit. The first time I was like, aha, that's me. Oh shit, I don't have any arrows. I'll just stand like a muffin. There's flame guys in there. They're cool, but I don't know. Although, I probably shouldn't go, oh, my enemy's really cool. Oh, it's like, it doesn't hurt the other people. That annoys me. Because anyone else's attack hurts the other people. Like smoke guys attacks hurts the other people.
Oh, it's boomers. Boomerangers. Those bombs don't do that much damage. They're really shit. I do like these little challenges, they are fun. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Shit, I missed. Yeah. He got me on the splash. <laughs> got me on the splash. Oh, yes, I would like to retry. I only died the once. Not like I died nine times or something. Don't give me that shit. For the boomers, you magic freak. I would actually say this game is easier than Tinder. Like, the difficulty is different, not the same kind of difficulty, but it is like I die more in this than I did Tunic, but this is easier. ones who shoot the ghosty boys. No, it's a big boy. He's a fat ass. No. Stay back, fat ass. <laughs> yes. Stabbed him in his big ass. We won! Oh, it's a green giant A gift to a fellow crow to aid you in your quest. Hookshot spell acquired. Nice. That's cool. Does the hookshot cost me any? No, no. Yeah, it does, does it? Not in like the environment. It only costs me mana when I'm fighting. I'm okay. This appears to be a Reaper's abandoned logbook. The removal of the legacy doors has seriously implemented my investigation into the difference of the Reapers in the redacted region. 
This whole process of transferring to the new system has been a nightmare. I have found evidence that many workers were active in the region when the orders were given to cut them off. More worrying still is that the active reaper mission in the area was also purged from the system. Somewhere out there is a soul that has not been reaped on time. It's a recipe for disaster, that is for sure. We all know what happens when a soul that remains alive past their death date. Yeah, it turns into a fucking witch bitch now. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I just walked off the edge. Like a fool. Oh my god, I'm all the way back here at the beginning. The phone booth. Click. Seems like the phone in the clear down. <laughs> Probably did that when I first started the game as well. I reckon some of these gonna happen here soon. You know anything about that, buddy? Nope. Why did you say no? I don't know why anyone was saying these things are adorable. Because they hit like the same EP shows and there they are adorable. Look at him sleep! Oh. Tell me, have you seen a mountain? Do you ever get a chance to try and explore what, what a wonderful creation they are, titans of nature? Mm. I'm trying to think of where I can get to the hook now. Like I couldn't before, you know. A bit of exploring. Read this? I must have read this. Uh, I'm coming down to now. Yeah, I just read this. I wish there was an exit button rather than just keep reading. Well, I can get over there. You have to re-click the trigger for some reason, and it really winds me up. Because that's what keeps, that's why I keep walking off. Because I'm just holding the trigger down, expecting to be able to use the thing again. But you can't. Fuck, am I going? This appears to be a Reaper's Band logbook. I'm done with this job. I've found the notes from the investigation looking for the events around the disappearance of the Reapers and the closure on all those active doors. This Lord of Doors doesn't give two shinies about any of us crows. What is it all for? Myself and a few of the other Reapers are convinced to join me and head to the Forbidden Region to see what we can find. I hope we can start a new life without the Commission. A new challenge awaits us. Hey again. <laughs> You found a scale model of a Reaper door. It doesn't function, it's probably made to evaluate the design for the modern doors that the Reapers use. Got the shiny. I've not got all the shiny. I did look it up and there is an achievement for finishing the whole game with just the umbrella. So me making that joke about, oh, should I do all the bosses with the umbrella, that might be an actual challenge. I'm still missing six shinies. Uh, how you been, Ken? Uh, I did. I've already gone through the whole talk about how, like, my week has been so far. About how Monday was. So uh, Sunday, our baby's here, and it was nice and lovely. It was... Ken is sick. Ken is always sick. <laughs> There's more and more of these guys. These creatures are so colourful. They're giving me a migraine. And they are coming through the doors that you left open. Honestly, you're turning my office into a dimensional Swiss cheese. 
It was not my fault. Da -da 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 -da. I love these little guys. The, other, the guy at the front doesn't complain. <gasps> He's a black one. I want a black one. What? My little friend got into my ink supply. The poor dear. Although, she doesn't seem to mind it. Maybe she loves the smell of ink as much as I do. I want that one. I want that one. I want the little black one. I want that one. Welcome to the Zol. Please, you'll come by the middle. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's get more heads. Uh, I know the light means there's still stuff to be done, but. door I came out of though, that's the annoyance of this game. That's what pissed, I, I, I forgot, I forgot that's what pissed me off about this game is there's no minimap, so I have to walk up to every one of these doors to find out where they actually fucking send you. And then to find the actual fucking door I want to go in takes 900 years. One of the few letdowns of this game is poor map design of the hub world. Mushroom dungeon, no. Final Frog King, no. Run Runes, Final Fortress. Nope, I didn't mean to go out there. Yeah. Uh, we're back to regular biscuit, which means kitten, there is a dragon again. Dragon, Castle Lockstone, Stranded Sailor. Is Castle Lockstone where I was? Mm. Yeah, which means you can also claim first to get credit again. Uh, also, I did PM you something about D D and your Dragon Red. Um, I can, you can go read it, or I can just talk through it now because I'm on the mic. I can just talk you through it. It's, it's your choice. Either I talk or you read. Just let me know. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay, let's talk. Uh, so, you know, you kept getting in trouble because. Well, not kept, but you got in trouble because you had red out. Um, and, you know, like, technically. Technically, Captain should have alerted the. Bright Guard. Which are like the Bright King's elite personal like soldiers. Like he has his army, he has the Bright Army, but the Bright Guard are like his top of the top motherfuckers. And they should have come and arrested you, taken you to the High City, and then there would have been a trial where you would have been found guilty of disturbing the peace because you you not. Dragons and ma dragons and magic are not what's illegal. They're not. They're not illegal. They're not outlawed because it would be a heinous thing to outlaw them. But what you did by having a dragon would be like legal loophole. It's disturbing the peace, and then you would have been executed for it. Like it's their way of being like, no, no, we haven't outlawed dragons and magic. Anyone who has one, we're gonna kill you for. Um, <laughs> you know, um, the way around that is because I was reading the Find Familiar spell because I remember one of my characters, York, had a familiar because you're yeah, Eldritch Knight. Uh, he had a familiar that in its plane was a squid, and when it came out, it obviously couldn't be a squid because it needed to be a mortar, so he would change it into things. And I remember basically because of the wording of Find Familiar, if you've already got a familiar and cast it again to find another one you instead change the form of your familiar. So what I was saying, what I sent you a message saying, and basically what I'm saying is, what you could do is have Red's core form be a dragon, and his mind of a dragon. But, as an action, you can change Red's form. So you can make him like a cat, or a crow, or a frog, or like anything like that. Um, but he would, he would still have the mind of a dragon, and the mind of Red, 
and on another action you could turn him back to his dragon form to do all like the fighty fighty pseudo dragon shit um, that you like doing. Um, but yeah, but that would I uh, I would say again it will count as an action. So obviously when you're having your turn. If you wanted red to be a dragon in that fight, it would cost you your action that turn. But then don't forget, red gets his own actions and all that. But it would be your action to change red. Yeah, because he's just casting the fine familiar spell. Again, transforms them, but I... And it was the thing... I had when I had my character York and the DM agreed. I think casting the whole spell and it costing a spell slot really is like piss takey. Because you can dismiss them on will. You don't you don't have to cast the spell to dismiss them. You can just be like go away to your plane of resistance. So I don't get why you can't just go go away to your plane of resistance, come back as something else. Um So yeah, you could you can have that as an action. Um to be able to turn red into other... Okay, it can't be any other creature. It has to be the creatures listed in the Fine Familiar spell. Uh, I don't know if a cat is, but I will allow you a cat. Because I feel like it should be. I feel like you should be able to get a cat familiar. Because the whole witches on a broom cat to familiar thing. I feel, like, I feel like cats should be on that list, and I don't think they are. So, you can add cats to it. Yeah. It just means, obviously, next time we play, just be like, oh, on an action, I uh, I change red into a cat. And I'll make a little cat. So basically, find... Uh, on Discord, send me a description of how you want the cat to look, and I'll find a image and make a token for red's cat form. Because I remember my familiar when I was York had, like, a number of familiar tokens for all the different forms that my familiar could take. Um, so yeah, I'll make a cat take. It's alright, I always try to help players with things and stuff. Uh, so I'm just trying to keep doing D&D &D work so then next time we play I'm like really fresh and with it. Uh, also, I'm... You guys are getting very close to being at that point in the game where it's like you have two weeks to do whatever you want obviously it won't be phrased like that it will not be phrased like that it will just be like and you guys have nothing to do you have some free time some downtime and then i would just be like oh in two weeks time this happens or this happens or this happens and there's reasons for you guys to go back to adventuring um you don't ha oh by the way both me and the dragon do love coffee, so I'm here to the coffee and get coffee. Bob Bob. Uh, you have a reddish cat, probably about the same size as red. Yeah, yeah, I can do that, I can do that. I can try and find something. Yeah. I will try and find something that looks reddish, but also looks natural, because that's kind of the whole point of me allowing you to have this, is that red looks like a normal thing, <laughs> and not a magical thing, so people don't go, ah, oh, she's... Ah, so for fuck that, I spawned and fell off again. <laughs> um, so people can't be like, oh, she's got a dragon. Because again, magic is not outlawed. The, the, here's, the, here's the thing that I find very interesting about you guys right now, in where you are in the game and in the world, is you've travelled to a whole new land, a whole new continent, with its own laws and rules and everything like that. And at no point have any of you tried to investigate or ask someone what the laws are <laughs> so you do the you lot just fucking go it's, it's like if it's like when the english go on holiday that's what it's like it's like when the english go on holiday we don't fucking look up oh well how'd they do it in this country we're like no we're english we're here you do it our way <laughs> and that's how you guys are being <laughs> it's quite funny to me um because on also on the other level where you are now has genuinely genuinely like where you are now has only been open for the past 300 years and known time in the world like um record but like recorded time in the world is like the year 1709 
So for th this land has only been up 300 years. It's not a long time. And obviously the world is a lot more ancient than that. That's just recorded time. Because obviously where you come from, there are those ancient uh, runes and artifacts and like hints to a long dead ancient race of like technological and arcanic advanced people. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I just love it. You guys have gone to... And then you, you guys keep getting in trouble. And then you keep getting annoyed at me. And you're like, oh, how are we were meant to know? It's like, go ask someone, anyone, the rules of where you are. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> go ask someone. <laughs> at some point, just be like, oh, hey, by the way, we're not from around here. Could you please tell us how things work? But no. You guys are just like, no, nah, fuck that. We'll figure this out. Am I meant to have that up or not? Oh, I am. Uh, but yeah. But you guys have about, like, not to spoil things, but to slightly spoil things. You guys have two more planned out quests to do, and then that's when the break's gonna happen. Um. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Yeah, see, I knew I wasn't going to like this. Can I... Oh. You did say we got some downtime coming up. Do you ever have a thing where she would know where to go to find information or something? Yeah, maybe. It's, again, it's completely up to you guys. The only thing I would suggest is you guys take your downtime separately. You don't have to. Completely up to you guys. Obviously, it's going to be like, um, you know that uh, intro bit I, uh, I sent you? Not the intro bit, sorry. You, you know like when we made your backstories and I kind of read something up and then gave you input and stuff like that? It's going to be like the opposite of that. I want What I'll be like is, oh, you have downtime. And then I want to have one-on-one -on -one discussions with all of you on what you want to do in your downtime. Um... Because obviously there might be stuff you want to do that simply might not be possible to do. You know, you can't do all the things. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I think I fucked this up. <laughs> Am I meant to do that now? No. that one oh okay kitten seems a bit disappointed <laughs> like oh I'm not gonna be able to do anything else. you know me as a DM kitten I am yes and or no but I'm never just no 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 I'm not gonna be like <coughs> you can't do that thing because I don't want you to do it <clears throat> it's more of like you guys will ask to do something and I'll be like okay so this is how that go and I'll also make you rolls I'll make you do rolls for like the things you want because not everything you want to do is gonna be successful either it's very much like you you could be like to me I want to try oh shit I want to try and find some legal information on the laws of this land and I'm like cool you could do that actually no you'd be able to do that easily because it's something to do with your character I think it's on your sheet somewhere saying you can find information freely or easily. So you wouldn't have to roll for that. But if, if one of the other ones said it, if like Shadow or Breton said, Oh, I want to find out the laws. I'm like, you roll for that shit, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, we did have thoughts about investigating Shadow stuff. Research back now. I would say, don't. this is my only suggestion here. and I, You guys can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Shadow's background stuff, that stuff you're about, will, uh, like the, the investigate Shadow stuff, that will come up in the events of quests and story. So, you can use your downtime to do that. 
Um, but I would maybe suggest doing other things. But it's up to you again. Here lies Lord Deadbolt. The fourth in the lineage of the Door Lords. The rule was dark but preceded efficiency among weakers. An overbearing ruler concerned with keeping order and funding research into their sustainable form of life extension. Uh, I don't remember how to activate this thing. Is it this? Yes. Yeah. Also don't forget, you guys have been in Balton for 14 days now? By the time your free time comes up, it might be like a month. It might have been like a month or like a month and a half would have passed, depending on how fast or slow you guys do things. So you might want to go home and visit your families and shit, or other things. Like, again, you could do whatever you want. Uh, these are just, like, suggestions. Uh, I'm basically trying to get, like, give you all, all the options. I don't want you to feel limited in what you can do. I want to give you all the options. I want you to be like, oh, so I can do this? I'm like, yeah, you can do that. You can also do this and this. And that and this. And this and that. <laughs> um, I've really got no idea where the fuck I'm meant to be going. Look at here, it's like a dead end. How do I get up there? How do I get to that part? I've been away for some time, I don't know, I could go home in two weeks. I don't know, I don't, oh, is that, you don't know if you could go home in two weeks, get home in two weeks? Oh, you don't know if you could get home in two weeks? No, there's ways. <laughs> if, genu genuinely, if that's what you wanted to do in your free time, you know me as a DM, I'll be like, yeah, we could do that. We will, fi I will figure out, I will create an it in law way for you to be able to get home. You know, if that's truly what you wanted to do, I would do that. Um, so don't, don't think like, don't think like, oh, I can't do a thing. That's what I'm trying to be like. I don't think you can't do something. You can do it. You can do it! I believe in you! Yeah, it's a win. Nah, that's cool. <laughs> Tressa really don't want to go home. She's like, nah, fuck that shit. I don't want to go back there. <laughs> I don't like those people. They're assholes. <laughs> You're having a good time with new places, that's fair enough. Look at all the new things and stuff and things. It's all new. Oops. I'm trying to figure out how you get to that second level. No, that's all. And for the record, she loves her family. I know she does. I have your backstory. I know how you feel about your family and your friends. I know how all you feel towards your family members and friends and stuff. How do I get up there? That's a light, so that means it like must be outside. No, because there's lights from over there. Fuck. Who the fuck do 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 do? Ah, oh, this one. Oh, it's Gav. Yeah, Gav claimed first because the kitten didn't for some reason. So what is it? Little Fox 830? Little Fox 830? 
There you go, Gab. Here's your credit. Here's your first. Right, there you go. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and as a DM, I am like, I'm really like sitting there and delve into the lore of things. That clear. I have so much <laughs> to tell you, and I need to like, I need you to delve into it, please. Uh, you finish work at 2am? Nice. Here lies Lord Opengate, the third in lineage of the Lords. Their rule was steady and without hindrance. A ruler skilled at the de la ba ba da ba. They spent many years expanding their knowledge while travelling the vast of space. Right, go to bed, don't watch me, go to bed. Get, 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 Gav, get, get to bed. Oh, I forgot to speak to the other dick. Greetings, young Reaper. Your presence here is quite a conundrum. It would indicate that the course of events which started with the formation of Death's Door has led to the universe to the brink of great peril. However, it also indicates... Uh, also, it is also indication of those actions correcting themselves. Life is merely the universe experiencing itself. And as the universe seeks balance in all things, we, as part of it, are all acting to maintain the balance. Stay true to your path, young Reaper. I can sense victory in your future. Bye! Boop. I have coffee somewhere good. Mm, fair enough, fair enough. But still, you should probably sleep as well. I have no energy drinks. I do have one in the fridge, but I'm not drinking. Oh my god, so my tongue has been killing me for like a week now. Uh, again, I would also suggest when you're doing stuff with the dragon, probably best to wait for the BRB screen so you can actually see it happen. Um, yeah, so my tongue has been killing me for like, underneath it, it's been killing me for like a week now. And I thought I teared something and ripped something, and it was like, I was eating my porridge this morning, and just a corn of popcorn came out with it and I was like that's what's been fucking killing my tongue that's what's been hurting it like let me get to that room that room looks nice I wanna be in there that's what's been killing me and now I'm like oh yay no no bread the dragon again again Gav the suggestion would be wait till it's on the screen but it's up to you yeah, I forgot to speak to you, didn't I? My life was not easy. The balance of the universe was my duty and mine alone. The Lord who created me had guided a grand illusions about fate and purpose, but fate did not bind me to death's door. Duty did. No other could take on the task controlling life and death, so I bore the burden. I bore it for the, as long as I could, even extending my life beyond the bounds set by the pitiful. Uh, Arcanism that is death. When my time finally drew to a closure, my successor paid no heed to my teachings. I fear their region, uh, their reign may have destroyed the balance I tried to hard to maintain. What a bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, Crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Bye. Whee! I was working at Cinema till I tear. I had Cinema to myself for last year. I'm going to and how important. Day celebration. Fairs, Gav, fairs. I saw you like the uh, death token kitten I posted. Yeah, it must be this. I must be missing something this way. Yeah, it does look very helpful. It's a legendary item. That's how rare they are. <laughs> that item's like... 
Good luck finding one. <gasps> I see. <laughs> Although it is like you read the description. It's a token from death themselves. It's very rare. I'm like, not gonna be easy to get. But it, once you do get it, it'll be like, Ooh. I need to get over there. I don't know fucking how. Is it a symbol of grabbing the crates? Can I just grab the crates? Is that? No, I can't see. I need to go over there. I think something like a, might have broke. Yeah, I think that might have broke because I can't, I can't get up there. So I thought on the town. Let's some Oh, I wonder if that's not helpful. That's cryptic bullshit. Because I've tried down here already. to the fucking door. <laughs> I remember now. I have a key. There was that locked bit that I didn't go to. I remember now. There's that locked bit to the left that I didn't go to, ain't there? Because <laughs> I went right. I'm not the smartest person. We've, we've all established this. Yeah, see, I didn't go up there. I just went down here again. <laughs> oh, cool, laser beams. That's, that's, uh, I like that. Oh, no, okay, so that doesn't block the laser beams. That's good to know. I thought that was high enough to block the laser beam. Clearly not. I don't want my lights to be this colour. Let me change it. It's still in night mode. I've still got my light in night mode. I forgot to change it to day mode. Uh, let's make it daytime. Uh, it's scenes, night, reading. No, reading is too bright. Working. Yeah, that's a good level. It also slightly changes the colour as well. <laughs> Please. Soft. Mm. I don't know why soft goes like green, maybe. It is actually kind of nice. Colourful. I know you guys can't see this. I don't know I'm just saying things. You guys can't see this. Working too bright. No, I don't want... I don't know, now that you can see this, I'm just fiddling with my light, trying to get it to like a nice level. Yeah, that'll do. Both me and the dragon do love coffee, so I went here to coffee and get us some. There's free D&D stuff over there, if you like D&D. You know, there's some really cool things over there. There's like a spirit's jacket, there's a death token, there's a... Amulet of Glamour, there's uh, Prize Tankard, I can't remember all the things. There's all these things. They're awesome and cool. Killing the person. Gav's the sunny zone little thing there. Ah, oh, fuck! It was too fast.
Oh wait, I have blood? I've never noticed that before, you have blood. I've genuinely never noticed that before, blood comes out of the little crow. Nice! Screw you, laser beams! We will be out there in a minute. Yes! I've opened the sink drain. Now all, all the water can drain out. <laughs> oh, it's a bird cage. My bad, my bad. My bad. Here lies Lord Theodore, the first successor in the lineage of Lord. Transition to power was smooth and they reign. Remember for their fair nature, enforcing better working conditions for Reapers. How do I speak to the guy? Because normally you can. How do I speak to you, my dude? Normally you, you can speak to the dude, can't you? Oh, look, I'm up here. Nice. Oh, did I have to stay up there to speak to him? Oh, I messed it up, didn't I? I just killed those little dudes, they ran off with me. I don't know where I am now. Okay. I didn't realise you had to stay up there to talk to him. That's kind of frustrating. A little bit. A little annoying. Just a little annoying. I've really been watching, um... Dimension 20 a lot lately again. I got back into that. I fucking love it so much. I'm watching their like kind of like parody of Game of Thrones uh, dungeon. Uh, cause what I love about Dimension 20 is like each season is a very different game of D&D. Like different settings and characters. It's brilliant. Um, and right now I'm watching Crown of Candy, which is like it's like a Game of Thrones-ish setting, but all the things are like food and like candy and bread and, you know, the Ceresians and Vegetarians and Fruitarians and Candians and it's, it's, it's really fucking good. Sweet child, look at what has happened to your life at the hands of Garkale. I was never sold on the idea of preserving the course of life and death. Each lord creates a next in succession before their death, and teaches them the lord's path. My creator lord before me bound me to their system. All I could do was try and balance the world as fairly as I could. I tried my best to do right by the living, especially the crows, recruited into something they had no business in. If opportunity presents itself, child, and in this cycle, would be what is right for the universe. My lifetime was too short to come to the ultimate conclusion, but I remain hopeful that others will reach on it on their own. Well, one of my biscuit can't talk all the time. Goodbye, dead man. Ta -ta. Uh, right, let me get to that room of the cage, and then I will be right back. Uh, as I be right back, please enjoy a little preview of the Fear 5 episode. Uh, Fear 3 Part 5 that came out yesterday on YouTube, that's what the BRB video at the moment is, and feel free to play with the dragon and play with biscuits, because the dragon's back! Biscuits never left. So I will be right back now. I did get back in time to stream. Um, only just because of reasons. Um, but yeah, I decided not to. Okay, I don't think I'm meant to find what the. Um, but I decided to just have some kind of rest. I'm gonna leave that in, and there's some other shit I'll definitely cut out. 
And you'll probably question me, like, why did I leave that dumb shit? Hmm, these creatures must be born from our mother's mind. Memories, perhaps. The fuck is she remembering? The knife is stronger than the gun. Um. have more to worry about than us because the army of monsters are mother's uh, labor is spawning um yeah yes yeah, so I've I... yes I was very similar man it was nice Let you guys fire out. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. I miss him already. Uh, I feel like I can distract myself with some fear free in the stream. Oh shit, I got stuck on the door. Problem between these recordings is I don't. I don't. Obviously, I don't play the game between the recordings. So I get like really rusty. Also, at some point I have some packages coming, but it did say between 2.45 and 6.45. Big window. Uh, it's like Little Man and his little brother's cooking room. Uh, I don't have... I need to get the youngest one's sister's present yet, because I'm just letting them just pick, that, pick out some clothes and stuff. Because, you know, that one's too little for it to uh, really matter what you get her. But, um... You know when you like you order presents and like before you order them you're looking at it and go, Oh these are great, they'll love this, they'll love that. And then when after you've ordered them, you've paid for them and they're being shipped, you're looking at the presents going, Are oh, these great? Like I'm really questioning the gifts I got little man now. So I might get my third one, I don't know. But then it's so favouritism because I've only got uh my nickname for Little Man's little brother is Robot. Uh, like he's my media nickname <laughs> for when I'm streaming and YouTubing. I've only got Robot 1 gift so far. What the fuck? Oh, here's some of those monsters. Knife you! I'm gonna die. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... So yeah, um, yeah, I'm unsure about if I should give him another gift or not. But then again, it's like I got his, I got robot, and I need one gift so far, so it wouldn't really be fair. And then I ordered myself a um, a light adapter because I got a light from work for free that my boss hooked me up with. Um, this light adapter thing, and uh, not like the he 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 hooked me up with the light. Back, uh, kitten. You may have been confused at the end when the dragon changed very much completely, but I was just on the Dragon's Pets website to change up his outfit because I like to do that. Um, and I clicked on what's new. You can make emotes with your dragons now, which is cool. Fun me. Um, there is also a new species. There is a new species of pet. You can now switch your dragon out and have a Snenzars. S-E-N-Z-A, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, so we switched out the dragon for a little bit. We have now have a Zen Snars. Um, that's what we're going to have for a little bit. So, <laughs> please enjoy that. <laughs> You've just got your little dragon friend back and I've gone, and now switch. And I just put him in the mental health and us awareness t-shirt. And the Zen, Snar the Zen Snars doesn't have that. Zen Zar? Zen Zar? I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> the not dragon. Oh, something's going to happen, isn't it?
I know something was gonna happen. On to seed. What's this sound like? This way to our camp. See you soon. Oh, is that is that gonna be the camp of the three crows that came here? Because I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> oh my god, it actually ripped the thing! <laughs> that was an amazing little detail. It actually ripped the the speech bubble. Oh. And you can read this up as well. Oh my god, this game. That is an amazing little detail. Oh, this get this game. That is fantastic. I want to re I want to destroy all the signs now. Oh, I thought you'd be like friendly because you were just looking out into the abyss. I didn't want to kill you. I genuinely like that's how I just walked up to. It. I was like, oh, is it a friendly one? Oh, that's brilliant. That you can read half the sign. I want to get over there. Ah, I can't. Um. Oh, I really want to play in D and D again. I really, really do. I'm, I'm getting back into the whole D and D vibe again. Watching Dimension Twenty, writing stuff. I really want to play again because I want to get you guys to that point. Like, there are so many places I want to get you guys to, and people I want to get you to meet, and. And our games are so far apart, I'm just like... I want it. I want it now. I was thinking like... Because technically in December I have like five days off all grouped together, but that's over... That's over, that's over a period where we wouldn't be able to play. And I know for a fact because it's... Like... I have... It's weird. So I have like, yeah. So I have like, um, the. I'm, I'm spacing out. I'm, I'm spacing. I've spaced out so much. So I have Eve, Christmas, Boxing Day, and then the next two days off. So that's the 24th, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, the 28th. But I know for a fact we wouldn't be able to play them because I wouldn't be able to play on Eve or Christmas or Boxing Day. And then the 26th or the 27th. No, so then the 27th and the tw 28th, one of those days I'd be babysitting. The other day I could play, but I doubt you guys are going to be able to play on like the 28th or something. That's the thing. It, like, it's because it needs to be a Sunday or a Saturday. So I didn't even notice that guy fall off. Hello. Um, it, yeah, for you guys to play, it needs to be like a Sunday or a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. Yeah, see, like, around December's, like, everyone's going to be busy. It would be, it would be a lot easier if you guys could get a Wednesday free, because I could do work do what I just wouldn't stream but I also understand you guys have lives and it's it's like tricky getting everyone together at the same time it's hard I do understand that um, it's just that whole thing of like you get that feeling like, I want to play d, d yeah but life it's like fuck life getting in the way I like the music though, it's very peaceful. That's why I didn't want to be killing these guys. Like, it's a very peaceful area. And yet they're still attacking me. I was seeing if you could grab the orb, but I can't miss it. Activate the door! Yeah, I knew it was the crows. It was the crows who left. Welcome to the camp of free crows, old friend. We knew you'd make it here eventually. Even if you had a bit of guidance along the way. <laughs> We're a group of free-thinking individuals who reject the ideas of the Lord of Door. We do not want unnatural immortality. 
If it must be, must come at the cost of our lives, what is the point in living forever if it is to be a slave? No, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb higher, defeat the beast atop top the mountain and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. Is this blight, old woman? Welcome, foretold crow. We live a simple life here. Forage and live off the land. Even use fur shed by the beast atop the mountain as bed. Poor Toad Crow, it is an honor to meet you. Why is there a crow called Raven? That just piss. No. That annoys me. Did you find any of our show? Then again, a rook is a type of call vermis bird as well. <laughs> that pisses me off as well. Did you find our friends on your journey? It seems there are still nine strands you yet to find. I'm sure I'll help you on your journey. And fight for the beast that's on the mountain. Greetings, Corvus, foretold crow. This is the gate of knowledge. Its eyes see all things, its heart knows all things, and its soul exists in all things. It whispers to us when we need our guidance. It foretold your arrival and your destiny. You tell me shit. This is guy. Jackdaw. Yeah, they're all types of fucking Corvus birds. These crows. These crows are named after Corvus birds, but they're all crows. It pisses me off. We are abandoned our silence, we need our lives now take away. However, we are happier for it. This is the way it should be. Without death, new life cannot grow. I've got a key. I'm guessing the game is suggesting that we go around collecting things so I'm stronger to fight this beast at the top of the mountain. Oh feck off this guy. This way to the beast lair by the old wash. <laughs> that was my favourite. Hey, what are all these signs? Well. This way to the frozen canyon. Next to the first beach. Am I meant to light these on fire? Okay then. It's slippery! That's why they said exercise caution. You are... Slip. Oh shit, it's on a timer, motherfucker. No! Death befalls us. I swear we look more like a penguin laying down there in the snow. Like, we look like a fucking penguin. That was cute. I might finish this game soon then. If we defeat the beast and then death. Because I ain't going to run around getting all the things on camera. I'll do that off camera. I'll do that, like, I'll finish the story with you guys and then I'll do all the things myself. Um. Cause ain't I nice? You guys get to see the story, but not all things. Wrong one. Oh, just... Oh, you have to click fucking LT again, and it pisses me off. But I can't just hold it and activate the fucking grappling hook. I see. Do the hard fights off camera. I didn't say all the hard fights, I was like... You don't... You get to watch the story. That's why I stream. I stream for story. And I do all the games for their story. That's why I don't do games that are purely like... Most of the gameplay is hard challenge stuff. I do stuff that have got good plots. Story.
No! Oh, that seems like that's going to be tricky. You bitch! Oh, fucking rolled up the edge. Have you done this bit, Kim? I feel like you'd hate this bit. I, I, I've really been bad at jumping into people's streams. Like, I jumped in your stream this morning as you were saying, um, see you next time or something like that. Oh, what the fucking bitch! So I was like, well, I missed the whole thing. Oh, that's fuck. Wow, I actually managed to go it. Um, yeah, so I missed like the whole thing. I was like, ah. Oh. Oh, but I don't think this has anything to do with the beast, they said. This way was not to do with the beast, was it? Why would I go around this way? Can't I just shortcut it? Oh, that, no, that ledge is higher. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you bitch! Ah, all this for one shrine. That's bullshit. <laughs> I want it to be something cooler than this. Vision shine off your shard. You now have three. I need one more to actually do it. No, oh, that that doesn't seem worth it to me. That was bollocks. That was like, oh bullshit. <laughs> that, that's annoying me. Oh, there's a door! There was a fucking secret door down there! I saw it just because we... Down we go! <laughs> fucking look, there's a secret door! How did I not see that? Look at that! Oh, I'm not, not, I've not got enough hits. Shiny. You found a shiny medallion. You're a real winner. What does that say then? This medallion belongs to the Free Crows, a breakaway faction of Reapers who have chosen to quit their jobs and live a natural life. These crows sometimes adorn themselves with medallions, such as this one, which depicts the ancient god who, be who they believe prospered the fall of the laws of Dawn. <laughs> This scale model of a door is no detached. They're slimmer, easier to use, and more reliable. No longer process raw swords. Like the leg legacy design, we'll be introducing a vault, which presses swords for the power grid that the new doors run on. Everything will be automated by the commission. Even minor swords used for purchases will be fed back into the system. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I, oh, fair enough. I probably did miss the shiny in the castle. Thank you for telling me. Oh, I'm sad that we didn't hit our uh, Halloween goal. But I got a new goal. 140. Oh, let's <laughs> let's be naughty or something like that. I don't know. It right the word naughty run with 140. That's it. Oh yeah, 140 to be naughty is what I did. Because <laughs> 140 run with naughty, so I was like, yeah, let's do that. The old watchtower, the border of the forbidden region. 
If you name something the Forbidden Region, you're just begging. There must be something we had to do. Can I set these on fire? Oh, I can. It just doesn't work. Um, you're begging for someone to go there. If you call it the Forbidden. Oh, and there's a reason to plant the seeds. Not sure why it's yet. Well, there are some seed plant things that I've missed, so I have to go around the whole game again. I have like no help. I'm doing this sick. How about you? What's the point of all these if they all go out? Oh, it's the bullshit archers. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> As I'm calling them the bullshit archers, I'm <laughs> sniped in the face. Oh. See you up there, Archer. Can you let me heal first? You guys need to get yourself some healing items in my D&D campaign. You guys do. You need to get yourself some healing potions of some kind. I think in every fight, one of you has almost died. <laughs> Except for against the wolves. I think that was the only fight where no one almost died was against the wolves. But apart from that, every battle, one of you has almost died. Potions! I bet you that opens if I light all the if I light all the flame things that I was lighting down there that I could light and then they went into smoke. I bet you that door opens. I'm kinda stuck. No, I'm dead now. We haven't seen anywhere else to get anything, so we have looked. Yes! Well Again, you know. It's, it's, it's another symptom of the land you are in at the moment. Well, it's not all of Balton, not to spoil a thing. It's, it's the bright keep that you're in. It's like the symptoms, because of like, you know, creating and selling healing potions isn't illegal, but it's like, it's frowned upon because they're magical. <laughs> You know one place to get healing potions. You just didn't buy any. <laughs> I gave you a place to get healing potions, and you was like, "I'm not buying any of those." Also, there was a place for you to find healing potions as well, and you guys didn't explore it. <laughs> <laughs> Using like an abandoned potion shop and you barely explored that place? 
I love like I think Mike explored it a little bit because that's where he got his potion that he got or the poison that he got. I can't remember what it was. Can I just yeah. I don't wanna fight you. Oh cool that guy's come over here now. Maybe I could have fought. Oh the laser beam hurts enemies as well, that's cool. to die oh cool I've accidentally called a boomerang on to me as well that's great yeah I'm dead I got that wait one sec no uh, we haven't seen him he hasn't looked exactly he hasn't come back we looked thoroughly except in the hole I got that yeah except in the hole you know, <laughs> you look thoroughly except that one player. <laughs> you can't now, the shop's been... Actually, you know, you could. Yeah, no, you couldn't. You haven't been back yet. Yeah, you could actually. You could go back into the hole. <laughs> Watching him fall off his body. You guys are strong enough. Wait, did, did we actually tell him that was going in the hole? Nope. I realized we were going to. No, you ain't told no one about what you found. The one other guy who knows about what was in that shop is that bandit dude. You not? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, because Captain slammed the head into the wall. <laughs> Just... <laughs> that guy rolled too high. <laughs> Okay, do you know why the cat? Do you want to know why, like, behind the DM screen, why a captain smashed his head into the wall, and slammed it, and it like popped and blood everywhere, and head cracked open and split? It's because I rolled a fucking natural twenty. And the captain's damage critted. <laughs> it was like he rolled like. He rolled like three times the guy's health. Because the guy was on low health as it was. And he rolled like three or four times the guy's health. And I was like, there's no way I can. <laughs> there's no way I could be like, oh, he knocks him out. He's just like, he's. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this happens. There goes that lead. Oopsie poopsie. non-lethal blow I would I would do the same thing for you guys if you guys said I want to do a non-lethal blow and then you rolled like three times the health the character had I'd be like you try to do a non-lethal blow it doesn't work <laughs> like, 
are limits to it. It's like... It, you can see where I'm coming from there. You roll three times the HP that someone has left. They're dead. There's nothing you can fucking do about that. But you guys don't even try to do non-lethal blows either. It is, like I keep saying to you guys, it's gonna bite you in the ass at some point. When you don't try to do non-lethal shit, <laughs> it will really bite you in the ass. But you know, I've given you enough warning now, dear. Now you just have to live with the actions of your console. The consequences of your actions. But my brain's been doing that a lot lately. I'll do it at work. What happens when you never sleep? Who sleeps? Okay, I gotta remember that Tressa's secret is now out. Oh, for fudge sake, you prick. I fucking fell off and died. You kept that secret for 14 days. Not a long time. <laughs> well, you also had like... It's four... You've been in Balton for 14 days. There was also like the days in the ship. That it took you to get to Balthorn. Mm. That is true, it certainly is, man. Because you roll poor. Fuck off, bagpipes, dude. I hate you. I really don't like the bad clubs, dude. He can back off this time. He can die. Like nope, my hunch was not correct. I thought that was the way to get onto the path down there. Oh, it just dropped it. Wow, I'm done. <laughs> One sec, I need a blow on this. YouTube, I could edit it out. What's wrong with bagpipes, dude? I, I just hate him. I just don't like. I just don't like the cat. I find him annoying. So I skip all his dialogue. He could have really important dialogue for all I know. But he just doesn't give two fucks. That guy is just a prick. Fucking, I don't know why I'm not mentioning it because obviously if you yeah, one sec. He stopped. No. 
Where the fuck do I go from here? Oh, is it over here? No, I don't. I'm dead. Again. Fuck's sake, did you die so much on this game? I don't like dying. At least we know I won't finish it this this episode because how much I'm dying because I suck. Um. <laughs> By the way, Kim. Another thing. Yeah, I'm still on full HP. I'm not. Another thing. Um. To say with Red is I know I keep making him be like grumpy when he's hungry and he's not eating and shit like that. Um and get annoyed with you. But I would just let you know, he can't actually die from starvation because he's like from the fine familiar spell. But he can't die from starvation. All that would happen is if he genuinely got to the point where he died of starvation, he would despawn into his plane of ex like into the where he comes from be able to eat and then come back Mike's pet on the other hand can die of starvation <laughs> the Mike will have to keep that in mind because his is not from a spell How much health are you on in this game now, then, Kill? Could you use, like, oh, fuck, I'm dead again. Could you use, like, you've still only got 4 HP? Well, you got 5. That's not that much more. You made it sound like you had, like, 10 or something. You made it seem like, oh, I've got so much. Another one. Yeah, that's because you're going around finding all the things. I'm playing this game on hard mode. I'm like, who needs to find all the things? I've got 4 HP, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Ah! I died. Okay, in my defense, the reason I die most is because I lose half my fucking health to falling off the edge. <laughs> it's already hard. You don't want to make it hard. <gasps> no, I did pull up. What the fuck? Hate this guy. Oh, and of course, there's another one now. I'm a dead again. Fuck sake! One dude pissing me off. These guys are harder than the bosses. They're legitly harder than the bosses. Like, a lot of the small enemies you face are so much harder than the bosses were. Like, I've died from the, this guy, like, four times now. I swear one of the bosses only died once. You got those guys down. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can kill them easily. For fuck's sake. I hate that you can grapple onto something and then still fall to your death. Like, what is the point of grappling on if you can still fall to your death? 
You just set them on fire and stay away. Yeah, I'll try that. Not on fire, kid. They don't stay on fire. That's why I don't like the fire attack. It's shit. I don't know how you set them on fire, but they don't stay on fire. You don't have the upgrade. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. But that would require exploring the game and things. Finding all the stuff and upgrades. <laughs> we have time for that. It's just keep stabbing people until I get frustrated. Oh, fuck off summoning more! Maybe I straight up died from laser beams. Ah, oh, you prick! No, you can't tell me where it's a spoiler. I don't accept spoilers. <laughs> I fully understand that I am the reason that this is so hard. I do fully understand that. The game even told me. It was like, oh, we suggest you go and get all the stuff before you face the mountain <laughs> and I was like no fuck you game <laughs> I'm not gonna get all the stuff oh you upgraded the grapple as well Head. Oh, you prick. Oh, and I rolled off the edge because the game is a wanker. I'm not getting frustrated. I'm not. I'm not. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know what did frustrate me the other day? <laughs> I can see why you didn't want to deal with it. You know what did frustrate me the other day was when I was trying to make the Halloween TikTok, and that's why it got released so late. Because all I was trying to do was find a jump scare. To, because I was just going to make a normal TikTok and then add a jump scare at the end to be a dip. Because it's Halloween, and I could find so many jump scare clips from sites that claim that they were, we have a mass variety of clips for you to use in your own videos and stuff. None of these fucking sites have the ability to download the clip. Not one of them had the ability to download the clip. They had the ability to take the embedded cut, like the embedded link, and embed it into a thing, but they didn't actually just have the ability to download the clip, which is what I wanted to do. I'm up here now. Fuck you, game. So I got annoyed. So then I just made the shitty one that I released uh, of Evil Vin. the hello guy oh I missed
Ah, there's too many people trying to kill me. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, I'm dead. Game is fucking hard. I refuse. I refuse just to be stubborn. I refuse to go and find things to upgrade myself. I will kill this motherfucker. I refuse. <laughs> I am stubborn. I just need to play better, that's all. There is an achievement for finishing the whole game with the umbrella, so it's doable. I just need to play better. Big good sc oh god. Kitten, when you talk you young, <laughs> it's like really green. <laughs> Sorry about that sound, that was me starting to choke to death and not breathe because the locket I was sucking on uh, went in my throat and it was the perfectly it was the perfect size of my throat. So I had to pause mute and dislodge it. I'm not dying anymore. Let's carry on with the game. Three, two, one, go! You could, have, you could have had an on. You could have had like a uh, live death there. You could have had a live death. No one would have known. The stream would have just gone quiet and carried on. <laughs> no one would have known why. <laughs> Oh, you prick rolling off the fucking hunting edge. That's why I lose most of my fucking health is that fucking edge. And I'm dead. Oh! If I didn't roll off the edge, I would have been fine. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go find other stuff, kitten, before you suggest it again. No, no. Stubborn. Stubborn biscuit. I don't know how many times I've died to this bit now. <laughs> we will do it. We will die trying. Evidently so, because we've died many times. <laughs> oh. If I don't do it this stream, I promise next stream we will explore and find it. I promise. Just give me this stream to attempt it. This middle bit seems to be better because there's more ledge. So I'm less likely to roll off. Ah, oh, you prick. You hit me. Oh, cool. I killed the big guy. So I just got killed the shitty mages. Yes, yeah, see? I did it. Yes, as in this afternoon. Why do you. Why is there a question mark? I did it. Yes.
Yeah, why the question mark on an, on? No, no, why did you ask as if this afternoon? I mean, of course this afternoon. When else would it be? I knew I could do this bit without leveling up. Ken didn't believe in me, but I believed in me. Like when I never used to, I never used to use the plants. And it used to really frustrate you. <laughs> that used to really frustrate you as well. And you just like, you forgot that plant. I am telling you, there is a reason to be able to light all these. I don't know why, but there is a reason. Oh, I am all the way back here now. That's kind of annoying. No! I'm back with these pricks. <laughs> Both me and the dragon do love coffee, so I went here to the coffee and buy us a coffee. Since Biscuit is not drinking energy drinks today, a coffee would be really useful. Thank you. I know. The wind stops at some point. Yeah, if the wind stops at some point, we'll relight all that. I think that's what will open that door with the six braziers. I think if the wind stops, we can light all these braziers and then we can, those six will be lit. It'll open that door to secrets. Is what I'm guessing. Oh, I see. Let's, let's escape, baby. No need to battle those guys at all. I mean, battling them would have just made it harder. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a laser beam! <laughs> I like that one. That one was fun. Get somewhere safe. Oh, that would have been annoying if I slipped off the edge there right at the end. Oh, there's a there's a seed. I'll risk my life for a seed. Getting close to the beast, the mountain thing. Not 100%. Oh, yeah, I should have seen that this would be in a fight room. Seen and I'm dead. Here's the thing. I actually can't stop because I haven't come across a door in so long. I would have to redo all this. Like, yeah, I unlocked those sh shortcuts, but still. 
I'll do it. Oh. I'll give it one more go. If I die, well, I'll call it in. Actually, that ain't that, that ain't that bad to get to where we're going. It's just a straight line, isn't it? You bitch. That guy is just stuck down there trying to get off at me. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Only kind of. No, I've got no quiet enough. This, this is kind of intense. The roly guy is still trying to get to me. <laughs> I feel kind of cruel. He's like my little good luck charm, isn't he? Oh! No, that spawned on me! You bitch. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm definitely losing this. I definitely ain't winning this. Fight. Oh, my good luck charm. He's dead. Oh, I should have died. Oh, that was luck. That was l pure luck. That's what that was. <laughs> One health. <laughs> oh. Yes, the helipod. Give me your life. Ooh. If this is a secret area, this is like the worst, worst hidden secret area. Fuck, there's nothing up here. There's, no there's nothing up here. What the fuck? Oh wait, there's a moon, and you—I know you—you you spoiled it and said there's night time, so maybe I need to be here at night time. You spoiled it. How do you have the ability to go night, and I don't? How's that thing? I'm further than you in the story. I think. I don't yet. Oh, okay. Oh, look, it's the bagpipe prick. This is it. This is that's the beast. Oh boy, my heart's pounding. Are you gonna fight it? Are you gonna stay well out of the way and uh, take notes for my son? Good luck. Oh, I'm gonna. We will be fighting the beast. A uh, next time. For now we'll go for the door. But yeah, we will be fighting the beast next time. Maybe we'll take it on. Maybe we'll defeat it. Maybe we'll die and need to explore and find more things. Betty's lair. The beast is called Betty. Oh, oh, oh that's sweet. Right, let's um return to the title screen, then I'll go to my end screen. I think you're the only one watching, Ken, so we might we might as well not raid because it's just you. 
Um, but thank you for being here, and thank you, Gav, for being here for a little bit. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Let me go to my end screen. Look at that lovely end screen. It's amazing. Um, yeah, thank you to Kit for being here. Thank you to Gav for being here for a bit. Uh, I'll be back at 2 with my afternoon stream and more of Death's Door. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, just thank you to everyone being here. Uh, if you want more Biscuit content, in the meantime, head over to YouTube. There is a episode of Fear, part 5, is out. Uh, it's not that long, so give it a watch. Uh, if you want even more Biscuit stuff, head over to the Kofi and look at the D&D stuff. If you want even more Biscuit stuff, well, you're being greedy. Go away. Alright, goodbye. <laughs>